Now the word problems, I think most of the time your calculator is active. They're just really trying to check to see if you know, should I be adding, subtracting, what should I be doing? Karen ran three times last week. Here are the distances she ran in kilometers. 15, 7.77, 18.19. What is the total distance Karen ran on these three days? So if I'm going to find the total, what do I normally do? We just add them all together, right? That's all it's saying to do. So you're going to do 15 plus 7.77 plus 18.19. If you have to do that without your calculator, you would want to line the decimals up. So you'd probably really want to write it as 15.00. So it has the same number of decimals as the other ones. 7.77 and 18.19. And then I can add them once I have them all lined up nice and neat with my decimals straight up in a row there. So, 7 plus 9, 16, carry my 1. So I have 1 plus 7 plus 1, 9, bring down my decimal, 5 plus 7 plus 8, There we go. Carry my two, and then two plus one plus one. Four, right? 40.96. So Jenny filled her gas tank three times last week. Here are the amounts of gas she bought in gallons. 15, 11.6, and 2.7. We want to find the total, so we're going to take the 15. I'm going to add 0 .0, 11.6, and 2.7, and we're going to add those together. So 6 plus 7, 13. 13, carry my 1, so I have 1 plus 5 plus 1 plus 2. <laughs> 9. 9, and then 1 plus 1, 2. 29.3. Lisa bought four books at the bookstore. Here are their prices in dollars, 9.4, 12.2, 10, and $6.21, which is only the real normal way to write those. $9.40, $12.20, $10 even, and $6.21. Go ahead and add those together. Now again, probably on Alex, the calculator might be active on the word problem, but it's always good to practice paper, pencil, and if you want to check it with your calculator, go ahead and do that. And what we get for a total? 37.81. 37 dollars and 81 cents. Everybody get that? Okay, then I'll assume it's right. <laughs> I didn't have it.